Um, thanks for having me here. Um, it's exciting that the, the season's in the home stretch here. I think all the students on campus are busy with finals and we're prepping up for the Big Ten tournament. Um, anytime you make the postseason and you get to play in the Big Ten tournament, it's a big deal. And so we're excited to be in the top half of the bracket, just barely, but uh, um, but it should be fun to see our team uh, going into the season. One of our big goals was, do we have the ability to beat every team in the Big Ten? Can we take one game from every team? And it was close going down to the wire at Nebraska and facing them in extra innings and, um, you know, stealing a game there and, and almost taking two. But to go through the schedule, it's pretty special in a conference like ours to be able to notch a win against every team that you face in the Big Ten. And I think that makes us a, a scary eight going into the tournament. So your next goal is? Well, you know, next goal is to win, beat Indiana. I think you put everything into uh, game one. And so it's that survive and advance mentality. Um, it's a good matchup. We haven't seen them yet. So we're going to continue the same goal. It's funny, you know, you, you have Indiana, and, and if you're fortunate enough to win, you face Michigan, and those are two teams we haven't seen. So we're keeping the goals pretty simple of saying it's not about winning the tournament. Let's just get a win against every Big Ten team we see. You know, we just happen to see Indiana only one time now. Um, but we like that element of surprise against, against that team. So Saturday was kind of a grind, it seems, with all those extra inning games. Do you feel like it, maybe you're tired from that a little bit, or maybe it's better practice to have some kind of experience like that before you go into the Big Ten tournament? Uh, I think Saturday was the perfect the perfect tune-up, really. You play at a school like Nebraska, and <clears throat> the facilities are beautiful. It's a big stage. They've got fans. You know, They set an attendance record of more than 1,000 fans a game. So when you're um, trying to get your team ready for postseason, to play in a big stage is perfect. To play against a really good team like Nebraska makes it even better. And to have to kind of gut it out and play them through extra innings, uh, the 14-inning game was unreal. Really watching Taylor Page Stewart through 10 innings in relief. And when do you ever see that of 10 innings of relief? Um, but for us to then find a way to hold them down every single inning and get the win was was unbelievable. And I think even after that, a lot of teams might have just folded and been exhausted after a four-hour game. And our girls were like, let's fire up and take the next one. And they really wanted to show it wasn't a fluke, taking Nebraska to extra innings. So to do it back-to-back -back games, to go extra innings then the next game, um, it was it was fun. And afterwards, I think the biggest compliment, you know, Nebraska's coach is a Hall of Fame coach, Rhonda Ravel, and she said, that was literally the best doubleheader I've ever been a part of. And so those are small victories. You get someone who has been to the World Series seven times as a coach, and she's going to tell us playing against Wisconsin twice was her best doubleheader. You know, that put a smile on my face driving home for the, the seven-hour bus drive through the night. I know every coach is going to say we're going to take it one game at a time, and I know Indiana's probably your, your focus. But when you see Michigan there uh, in, the, in your side of the bracket, could you prevent yourself from being like, oh, boy, that's going to be tough for you, know, you to get through the tournament? You, you know, it's funny that some coaches, our team this year matches up best with the best teams. And so I think our hardest games were games that on paper we may have been better than the other team. So right away to go into Indiana, who, you know, is they've been ranked ahead of us all year to be an underdog in two teams, and then to see Michigan, we love playing Michigan. We've seen them in the conference tournament. You know, in our in our history, we're one and one against them in the, in the Big Ten tournament since we've been here in the last couple of years, and they've both been phenomenal games. So, I mean, what a dream that would be to get to face them and, and get to go at it again. Going into the year, we said another big goal if we could get 30 wins, and we're, you know, we're sitting on 28. So we're not dead yet. There's still a chance. If you take a game and then you get to, to keep playing and have a chance to go after Michigan, I mean, that's what we all get in the sport for is to play the best you know, when it counts in the tough times. What is the hardest part about facing a team that you haven't seen yet this year? <clears throat> Um, you know, we put a lot of prep work in. So, of course, there's that unknown element. You're just breaking down film. You're scouting that way. So that makes it tough. But I, I love seeing new opponents. I think our staff is really diligent in preparing for opponents. So um, we're kind of nerdy, and we put a lot of time and effort into it. So I, I like to match our brains up against other people, and I think um, that makes it fun for us. If we feel like when they're on the field, it's really team against team. But if we can work really hard and, and use our brains to give our team a little bit of an edge and come up with a great game plan and really motivate the team, um, it's fun to match up with new teams. Uh, can you talk about the potential Christner-Christner matchup with Michigan with Katie Christner and her younger sister Kelly Christner? 
Oh, sure. It's, you know, again, it's down the road and you, you got to play Indiana, but um, even having the option to play Michigan, we've got a senior, Katie Christner in left field. Um, her younger sister, Kelly Christner, we recruited her as well, and, and she chose to be a Wolverine and has had an awesome career for them. But uh, their family's in the stands and they're so Big Ten focused that they literally are usually taking off the Wisconsin hat to put on the Michigan hat when we play in the same tournament. So um, it'd be fun just to see what they're going to wear. But usually when we've seen those matchups, you get, you know, the t-shirt and the hat. And, and mom and dad and grandma and grandpa all wearing uh, both both team stuff. But that, that Christner family's from Chicago, and they are just such a cool Big Ten family. And I think that's a great matchup when you see families that just grow up loving the conference. And if you have a chance to have siblings play each other, it always gives it a little more excitement. How much is left in Taylor's tank? Um, I, I think she's gearing up. You know, really, I've seen some of her best games as of late. So um, it's funny. You worry about your smartest kids, and we have a team of smart kids heading into finals, being in the middle of it. Can a pre-med kid throw well on the road when she's prepping for finals? And I think she uh, she answered that pretty loud and clear this weekend, notching a win against Nebraska. So, you know, I think the sky's the limit for her. She's playing relaxed. And, you know, we weren't clean the whole time at Nebraska. So you have these tough games, and we had a couple errors, and she was just she had so much composure. She literally was laughing on the mound even when people made mistakes. She got after him a little bit, but then just kind of shrugged it off and said, it's fine, I've got you. And if you've got a senior on the mound that can handle adversity, you know, you become a really dangerous ball club. Do you get, ever get angry on the softball diamond? I do. I do. I, 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 um, I, I did uh, lose my temper a couple times this weekend. It's funny. Um, and get, got after the team. But I think we've got a group that they can take it. And um, we're competitive. And I think that's the thing of we're high energy, but we get after them. And uh, I think our respect for our team goes a long way that they let you get after them because they know we're in it with them. And so coaching is a funny thing that certain kids, you can't get in their face, you can't get after them. And Wisconsin, we've got tough kids, but they, they buy in right away that if they know you're ultimately fighting and in it with them, they'll let you, you know, get in their face a little bit, and uh, they've responded really well. So hopefully we don't have to do that anymore and we're just, you know, enjoying it. But I think they're as, they're as passionate as we are.